You know what, Twitch? I don't want to have to pull a Karen. Drop the taco. Get in the car. But I do need to speak to your manager about this trust and safety council member you've got working for you. Hello, everyone. Um, Mecha Random 42. The one, the only. The original, your favorite YouTube harpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta talk about this. I gotta talk about this person. So, Abby is her name, I guess. I don't know. I didn't look it up. I don't really care. We're just gonna call her Abby or Caitlin or whatever you want to call her. She does not like her customer base. And you know what? Have whatever weird, wacky cult member sort of mentality thoughts you want to have. Don't care. That's not what we're talking about here today. We're talking about my passion, which is consumer advocacy. And I cannot condone these platforms who hire people who blatantly dislike their consumer base. And well, why, why do I say this? Let's see what she, oh, you, you've heard this all before. You've, I'm sure everybody has made a video on this. I'm a little late to the game because I was redecorating a bit last night in some posters. Follow me on Twitter. You can see my whole, nobody cares about, we want to hear what Abby has to say. I just, I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. It's really not that I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's any time one group puts down another group. No, nobody wants that. We're all here for equality. We all, at least I am. That's certainly what I represent. No one group should be put down at the expense of another one. So that's not exactly what this means, though. She's one of these people who doesn't understand that... It is not supremacy to take pride in and to not want to be talked down to and be referred to, you know, like this. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about a wrinkle in time. Shut up, Bree. Nobody asked you. Actually, I did. I'm sorry. That's my bad. What, what else does Abby have to say? That's not her name. I'm just calling her that. I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. <laughs> Oh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You know, you know where they get this. And I'm going to just say it right here. I'm not defending this, but what happens when you let a bunch of young people, very, very young people, probably of the fifth and sixth grade level of either maturity or physically just that age group get on a bunch of first person shooters, like a Call of Duty sort of game, or get on unsupervised. They're going to start saying a bunch of stuff that they're not necessarily allowed to say, whether they mean it or not, not condoning it by the way, but they'll say words that start with the letter N or something, or they'll say a whole bunch of things that they shouldn't say because they don't actually understand that. And she's absolutely right, which is filled with a lot of people who don't quite understand what the words that they're using mean. Oh, 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 right there, right there. What else do you, what else do you feel about your uh, consumer base from a site you work for? Sorry just a fact of how I feel. Okay, so not a fact at all. Your opinion is not a fact. This is the same type of mentality where they're like, oh, my truth, my truth. Okay, that's your feelings, though. Your feelings are not truth. I have proof of things that are true, and I can tell you my opinion on something. Those are two different things. So, again, this very, very naive sort of mentality of people. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. People learn and grow. And I'm certainly not the same person I was 20 years ago. But hey, what what else does she say? What else do you have to say? Which is no, I just, I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. Oh, that was it. That was her entire clip. All right. Oh, there's more. There's a few more of these little clips floating around. Like, she likes to go to France in the field, which fine. That's your thing. That's your whatever. I 
But hey, do you. You do you. I play a six-string sitar through Monotron ribbon synths. But hey, you do you. That's fine. You can have your little deer gasm. Is that what this is? All you want. You can pretend to be something you're not. Just when you represent a brand, when you represent a company like Twitch, you don't make people want to use the platform when they cater to people who have such disdain for their consumer base. People see through that. They see right through that. If you don't want them there, they will not show up. They will not come to you. I'm just saying. Oh, and I'm probably not going to make a thousand videos on this like a lot of other channels. I just wanted to weigh in and say, look, this is very bad for your business. Don't hire people who recite this garbage. It's garbage. It's a lot of people who recite back a lot of things that don't understand what they mean. And this is the same thing I see in Star Trek. And I see this across a lot of fandoms. And I see this across a lot of social media platforms. They like to separate themselves by painting another group in a negative light, by painting the group in a way that might not necessarily be true. And one thing that I do see is a lot of little little white geek girls who don't like white people who like to further oppress people of color minorities whatever by feeling the need to speak for them and be offended on their behalf and as somebody who kind of sees through everything from a step back that's what I see. I see a lot of these entitled sort of princess types who are just upset that they were told they were princess their entire life or they were allowed to dress up in costumes every day of the week instead of just for Halloween. And that's fine, do you? But part of the result of that sort of generation and that mentality. This the C's get degrees mentality. It is the mentality and the culture of everybody gets a ribbon. Everybody's told they're special. Everybody gets a gets a trophy. Everybody is allowed to pass whether they understood the course or not. And we end up with a lot of people who really, really don't quite get how the world works. And I know that's part of being young. I was young too once. The problem with that is that they're put in these positions where they have some sort of power or control. And like I was saying, a lot of this stems from being mad that daddy told them they were a princess and now they have to get out and actually earn their own money and they have to work for a living. And everything Disney told them about a prince coming along and saving them is absolute baloney. And everything that they were told about, you know, you get a medal and you get an award, well, the first time they get any negative backlash or consequence or anything they do, they re at the top of their lungs. They just throw a temper tantrum. They throw a hissy fit if they don't get their way. And I'm gonna, going to assume and guarantee you that this is somebody who the second they don't get their way, they turn into a very vicious person. Look, look at this mentality here of just demonizing an entire market for their platform. Twitch is a platform built on gamers for gaming. And yeah, I have a Twitch. I absolutely have a Twitch. I am random game user 42. And you know what? I think instead of actually streaming over on Twitch, when I do play the new Terraria update, I might just play it here over on YouTube because here you go. Here, here's my Twitch, random game user 42. You can probably just find a link to that anywhere. You know, we'll put it full screen. Yeah, that's fuller screen. There you go. We'll put it full screen for you. Wow, that's an old, 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 old video from a couple years back. But yeah, I was playing. I was playing stuff over there, and I don't know if I really, really want to because of that mentality of people that they want as their what brand representatives, brand ambassadors. Yeah, it's just, it's not a good look. It's not something I really, really want to endorse or condone. And, you know, I don't even know if I want to use the platform anymore. But yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think she's just a misguided NPC sort of mentality who just recites back a lot of nonsense? Because that's usually the case. They're usually not that mean-spirited. They're usually not actually so disdainful of a lot of people. But then again, sometimes they are. Tell me what you guys think. I am Mecharana42, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.